Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card that has come up um, is the race. So, uh, you know, you might be in competition with somebody. Uh, there might be some uh, project that you're doing and there's some deadline that you have to meet. So you're really rushing to finish this, to reach the finish line. So you are under a lot of stress, maybe a lot of pressure as well. You might be working with a lot of people that are not being very supportive of you. Uh, maybe uh, people pretending to be friendly with you. Uh, there might be a lot of uh, there might be some deception, uh, maybe some betrayal going on over there. Uh, you can see them wearing masks. Um, you're also very upset about this because maybe you are relying on these people and they're not coming up uh, trumps for you. Uh, they might be causing a little bit of problems. Uh, and, you know, they're not, uh, they're pretending to be supportive of you and they're pretending to be your friend and they really are not. So you're dealing with that kind of environment where there are people that are not, uh, you know, the energies are not really, really good. Now, it looks like some money is coming in for you. You've got the jewel card over here. So some kind of, uh, you know, finance or money or reward coming in for your hard efforts. You've got a lot of gold and uh, maybe you'll be able to afford some luxury items. Uh, maybe this is why you're working so hard on this particular project, uh, trying to complete it so that, you know, you can get a payoff from it. And maybe people are just not playing the game uh, with this mask card. Now, in the past, you've got the traveling cards. You may have done a bit of maybe air travel, rail travel, or even taken a road trip recently. It could have been a business trip that you did. So you've been involved in that. And you've got the shoes card over there. So you've been earning money in that way. Uh, there's been an improvement of your financial status. Being able to buy better shoes, really. Uh, but shoes used to indicate how uh, people, uh, your financial status, uh, you know, in life in the past. Uh, and so this looks like, you know, you getting that improvement of your financial status. And your work involves a lot of travel or, you know, you've been doing a lot of travel. This could be even that you're taking a, uh, you know, you've taken a holiday recently uh, just to de-stress. But it looks more like a work trip. Now, going into the future, you've got the balloon over there. So, uh, overcoming difficulties. Uh, and, you know, um, also seeing the bigger picture. That's where you're going through. And, you know, this could also be air travel. So, you know, you could be taking, um, you know, this could have been a business trip that you took. This may be a, a holiday or having some fun on your holiday. So, taking a trip for that purpose. Um, it's an overseas trip that you're going to be taking as well. So, uh, you know... It could be a business trip uh, using air travel as well. Um, so some travel still indicated there. And you've got the anima over here. So, uh, you know, uh, it's about um, maybe you're dealing with people that are almost pretending to be, uh, you know, something that they're not. So you've got that mask card over here. Uh, and you've, you've got people, you know, maybe putting on a bit of a show for you. Um, so um, pretending... Uh, to be supportive, pretending to be friendly. So just watch your back uh, with all the people that you're dealing with. Uh, these are new people that you're dealing with, or maybe, uh, you know, um, there's somebody, people that you really shouldn't confide in. So just be aware of, uh, you know, energies that are negative or energies that might stir up some problem. Just uh, everybody's wearing masks, everybody's pretending to be what they aren't, and be aware that that could be going on around you. So those are the energies of that particular week. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to draw some cards from the tarot, uh, Parrot Tarot. This is another interesting deck, uh, and I have put that in the description, so have a look. Um, so let's see what's going on. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Magician. So you are working pretty hard. Uh, there might be a lot of travel that you're doing at the moment. The energy cards seem to indicate that you're doing a lot of travel. The Magician is the card ruled by Mercury. So there's a lot of communication on an international basis. You are manifesting at the moment, so you're very, very focused on your work. But you also might be really, really busy. You could also be dealing with people that are, you know, less than honest, uh, deceptive people. The magician uh, card ruled by Mercury is a bit of a trickster. So maybe somebody's pulling the wool over your eyes. So that's why keep your eyes, um, you know, uh, open. Um, you know, this is uh, the card 
uh, ruled by uh, Gemini as well, but you could also be dealing with somebody that is being deceptive around you as well. So a lot of communication, a lot of travel, uh, you know, and getting up that uh, career ladder as well. There could be some uh, news coming in as well. You've got this uh, little scroll over there, so some good news coming in for you. But you are well into uh, manifesting, and you've got a goal in mind. You have a vision, and it's about stability. Maybe you want to buy a new a new home, um, you know, and this is why you're working maybe from sun up to sun down. So doing a lot of work and being very very busy at this particular moment. Now you've got the Queen of Discs over here, so there could be a new job offer coming in or there could be an offer for promotion. It looks more like an offer for promotion because it's sitting next to the Emperor card and this is about climbing up that, that uh, career ladder as well and getting a position of authority, uh, being in charge. So you are very, very work-focused in this particular spread. Even though this is a, the general spread, it looks like you know, you're going to be concentrating a lot on your work. It's about being organized, being an authority, You know, it's about rulership, it's about leadership and it looks like like there's that new offer coming in and it's going to bring in a lot more money but it's also going to make you quite busy as well so taking control taking charge but being also very very busy as well and a lot of communication uh, collaboration with a lot of people now you've got the ten of discs over here it seems like you've ended an old job in the last year this is the ten of pentacles there may have been a payout that came with it but definitely the end of that old situation you may have even been doing some study during that particular um, job but it seems like that has come to an end You've got the Four of Cups coming in. So there was a new job offer that came in over here. It's the card of luxury, moon in cancer there. So, uh, you know, something that you really wanted, it may have been closer to home as well. Um, so, you know, uh, it's, um, it's brought in a lot of, uh, you know, stability, a lot of luxury as well coming in with that Four of Cups. And, uh, you know, you're maybe you're sitting back, maybe you're getting a little bored as well in that particular job because the Four of Cups is being a little bit discontented uh, in that particular uh, scenario that you are in. Um, if you have had, uh, you know, any kind of emotional problems going on, it looks like that's going to stabilize as well. There may have been a breakdown of communication between you and somebody and in the family. Uh, there could have been some, uh, you know, emotional issues going on, but it looks like there's a reconciliation that has come in as well. Uh, maybe there was a broken... Uh, uh, relationship but it seems like that has mended as well uh, in the past three months so what's in your mind you want the nine of cups so you want happiness you want a wish fulfillment to, to come through and you it seems like that is where you're working towards uh, getting your goals and ambitions realized now going into the future you've got the mentor of wands over here so some new project being offered to you something unusual uh it's going to require a lot of energy and it might also require a lot of travel as well so this new offer coming into you in the form of news or you know something that gets you going and means that you're gonna to have to put a lot of focus and intention on it You've got the death card over here, uh, what's going on with you, so you're ending old relationships or old scenarios and you're cutting that out of your life and you are moving away. So you're starting to move away from difficulties but you're definitely ending, ending some situation or severing ties and you've found a new pathway in life as well. The gate is open here, so your path is clear. It is, uh, you know, a chance for you to make new inroads, and it seems like you are going to moving, be moving on in the right direction uh, now, you know, uh, along your, uh, you know, your soul's journey, maybe, uh, with this particular death card. So you are ending difficult situations. You, it seems like, you know, you will be following your passion because you've got that card being ruled by Scorpio as well. Now, you've got the King of Cups, so somebody around you may be making an offer to you. There might be an offer for study, further study. Um, this could also be uh, needing to seek medical um, attention if you need it, if you're having any health problems. But also the King of Cups is somebody that is very supportive and somebody gives, that gives you some good advice on how to get forward uh, in life. Right, so you've got the Five of Cups of here in your hopes and fears. So, you know, you're dealing with some disappointment that you went through and you're worried that it will repeat itself again with this Five of Cups. So there's a bit of regret in this particular card, uh, but, uh, you know, the cups are all empty here. You can see they're all upturned of here. So you went through some kind of big disappointment and now you're worried that it's going to reoccur. But that's just in your hopes and fears. Uh, don't worry about it because you don't want to really manifest it. Uh, you need to let go of that energy. So going into the future or your final outcome, you've got the Hermit, the Nine of Wands and the Moon over here. So the Hermit is talking about, you know, focusing on your work, focusing 
on your career. There are loyal people around you. There might be teamwork that you're going to be involved in. You've got three heads on this one dog. Uh, you might be in, in um, you know, the person that's directing uh, the way things are going. So you might be in charge of that particular project that you're doing. It's allowing you to climb up the career ladder and your path is nice and open over there. You will be able to overcome obstacles because you'll think your way out of that situation. This is the card that is also ruled by Mercury. So it, it's a lot of mental activity that you are doing at the moment there are still people that are not uh very nice around you some toxic energy going on over here but you're starting to shift that energy the rainbow is starting to emerge this is a new project that you're doing so um you know it looks like it's going to be successful all in all but just watch your back be very wary about who you trust now you've got the, uh, the nine of wands is the next card which is the strength card in this particular deck so you are overcoming problems uh you're having to weigh options look at pros and cons look at the goods and the bad side of things uh but you're able to sort through these difficulties and um you know it's also a card about watching your back so you know make sure that you're vigilant about that uh you're drawing on a, on uh your strength your inner reserves of strength you are a bit tired because you have been working very hard with this nine of wands but you know the project is almost complete and you are almost there then you've got the moon card over here as the final card and this is showing about you know finding a new direction and getting some clarity within that situation this is about being confused about what to do next. It looks like there's two options available for you here for stability. You might be even thinking about buying a new home because you've got a castle there and a castle there and trying to choose, make a choice. So you're at, at some point uh, where you're making some kind of big decision, uh, maybe a home move of some sort, and you know, you're having to decide what to do. Uh, you need to maybe give it a little bit of a break. Uh, don't make really big decisions when the moon card appears because there's not enough information that's been revealed. So something still has to come to light something is still in the dark uh you need to that information needs to come to light and you need to wait for that to come in uh before you make any kind of big decisions there's also a little bit of uh you know depression running through this card so try to be positive about what you do and don't um you know don't expect the worst case scenario you are probably very tired and stressed out from working a lot and that's clouding your judgment a little bit so it's it's best to make big decisions when you're well rested maybe after if you've taken a trip or a holiday because you are working hard with this magician card over here so you might need to just get some distance between you and the situation before you start making really really big decisions so i'm going to draw some cards from the angel uh, tarot and this is going to be for the oracle read now you've got the two of fire over here so definitely reaching a fork in the road a decision to make so you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward so there might be uh, two projects being offered to you and you need to make a decision about what to do this is also forming good partnerships this is also a card about making sure that you're well planned up and there could be a lot of travel that is involved with this two of fire as well so choosing a pathway but there's also some travel a lot of international communication with that particular card you've got the seven of air plans that need revision uh, more going on than meets the eye and poor timing so you can see here you are making plans with this two of fire you might have to revise those plans beware of deception with the seven of air you know people making promises that they can't keep uh, things going on behind the scenes so there could be some uh, you know um, dishonest behavior going on uh, that you're not really aware of so make sure everything comes to light first before you actually uh, you know uh, make big decisions and watch your back really with that seven of air then you've got the world card which is talking about what a job well done uh, joy and contentment and gratitude a path traveled towards enlightenment so this is uh, you know the end of a karmic cycle so this could be you know being very focused on your work but also ending uh, managing to complete this particular project that you're doing very successfully with a lot of honors and rewards coming in and having learned a lot of lessons so you're very very experienced now with the project uh, you could also be dealing with a legal matter and that may come to light as well or you might get some news about that as well since it is the card ruled by Archangel Michael. But all in all, you're going to be successful at completion. There's closure to any kind of issue that you've been having and victory as well with that world card. There's also that focus on work as well. So you might begin a new project, a new work project or new job even. Uh, you could even be leaving your old job and moving into something brand new with this world card. But, you know, all in all, there'll be success that comes in and a, a brand new beginning 
and a brand new cycle beginning, actually. So those are the energies, um, and that's the reading for this particular week. Um, and I hope it has resonated with you. And, uh, you know, it's very, very positive. It looks like, you know, just make sure that you are, be careful of who you trust uh, and, uh, you know, rely on your own intuition when dealing with circumstances. It looks like, you know, you're starting brand new again. New beginnings are starting. You're ending old situations and moving on. And you're going to be moving into a position of great authority. Uh, and, the, and that's going to bring in money or it's even going to bring in a new job offer for you. Uh, so try not to be negative. Make sure you have clarity before you make any big decisions. Do your research. Um, and, uh, you know, it looks like, uh, you know, things are going to start going your way. So I hope that this has resonated. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.